Good morning and welcome to another video. I just made my morning coffee and today is going to be really fun because we're doing a little winter spring outfit transitional haul and then I'm going out on a solo date in Manhattan to the Lower East Side, one of my favorite areas to just have a cozy day walking around eating, drinking, shopping. I am really excited to get out into the city, but before we do, I wanna take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Lily Silk. I'm going to be styling a few of their very beautiful pieces today with you, and they are known for silk and cashmere, which are perfect for this kind of weird weather that we are having where it's a little bit cold, but then it's a little bit warm, and it just keeps switching around, so I feel like Cashmere and silk are kind of the perfect materials to wear on days like these where it's sunny but it's still a little bit chilly and we are just trying to get to spring. So I'm going to be walking you through all of the pieces that I got and styling them. So let's get into it. The first piece is this cashmere hoodie. It is 30% cashmere and 70% wool. It's super soft. I have really sensitive skin when it comes to sweaters and I can tell you this is super cozy. It's also perfect for layering. This is a zip hoodie, so you can wear it open or closed, and it comes with these pretty drawstrings, so it's a really beautiful piece. The hood also has the Lily Silk logo embroidered onto it, and I love pairing this with like a skirt, maybe a leather detail, and wearing it over a cami, and you can layer depending on how cold it is. Different things underneath, like a thermal, and then maybe a coat on top and throw in your bag and your loafers and it's like a super chic way to wear this hoodie outdoors. You can also wear this inside to lounge and I'm so planning on wearing this in the mornings with my coffee. It's super versatile and that is why I really love this piece. It also feels really high quality, thick sleeves and lovely stitching. So this is one of my favorites in the haul. Next up is this beautiful 100% cashmere brown polo shirt. It is also knit in this beautiful heathered material. And the polo itself is a V-neck cutout with a really relaxed fit on your shoulders. So it just drapes across and is more for a casual look. It's also really lightweight and breathable. So this is great as a transitional piece where you can throw something underneath or not depending on how warm it is and really layer it up with some dark jeans, some sneakers, make it really cool, and then throw on like a vintage brown coat on top for the colder temperatures, and then you have it, a nice little winter to spring outfit. And then finally, we have this beautiful cropped 100% silk top. It is a pullover style, but it does come with a little zipper in the back to help you get it on and it has these really pretty button details in gold that just add a little bit more of a special touch and to me this is a date outfit so i would pair this with a long flowy black skirt some low heels and then maybe like a leather jacket because we are in new york and that's just like the thing you wear at night i feel like and then have a perfect little night out outfit and then finally lily silk also sent me their 100 percent silk pillowcases you can get different sizes. I have the standard pillow size and it has this like really pretty label on it. It is so incredibly soft. I wish you could feel it. And it's so good for your hair and skin to sleep on silk. So that's what I do exclusively. And I'm really happy that they sent me these so that I have options. You can see it on the pillow here. It is just so pretty. The sheen is incredible and really, really soft. So I'm excited to sleep on this. If you're interested in picking up any of these pieces, I will leave my link right here on screen as well as in the description box below and comment which of the three outfits was your favorite. Mine for today is going to be the brown polo shirt because it's perfect for the Lower East Side with that thick jacket and the black jeans and the sneakers which are key for walking around. I'm a sneaker gal when it comes to comfort in New York City so we are going to get dressed and head out and have a lovely solo date together in the Lower East Side. Okay, we are ready to go. I've got my hat and my scarf because we are more so on the winter side of the winter to spring transitional weather today. So I'm wrapped up and I am very excited to head to lunch.
Okay, we have made it to the Lower East Side and Jackson is joining us for lunch because I have been talking about the chicken katsu <laughs> for ever since the last time I came here. So we are about to head inside and enjoy some food. And then my solo date around the Lower East Side starts. I have a bunch of locations marked off for vintage shopping and normal stores and quirky little boutiques. So very excited to get into all of it. But first, some coffee and some lunch. Finished with lunch, Jackson has left and I'm headed to the Frankie shop. I highly recommend Devel if you're in the area. They are not just beautiful toasts, they're actually so good. So the black sesame toast is really nutty. It's sort of like a peanut butter on toast, but more subtle in flavor. And then the chicken katsu go-to every time. So warming. There isn't a ton of seating there, so try to go during off hours if you can. And just really wholesome experience and delicious and I feel very nourished now. Before we continue any more shopping, I'm actually going to head to the public hotel because it's also around here and it's an incredible space. There's usually space to work or read and I brought a book with me so that is one of my favorite things to do when I'm spending the afternoon by myself is to get cozy and read something and because I have already had coffee twice today, I really don't need to go to another cafe so let's go try the public and see if we can find a seat.
Today is one of those rare days with blue skies, full sunshine, and somewhere there are wind chimes. The breeze is blowing, and I can't remember the last time I've been so relaxed walking around a New York City neighborhood, I have to say. It's just... <sighs> just breathe. I've just been popping in and out of vintage stores and the Sweet Pickle bookstore, which is really fun. You can actually bring some of your used books in exchange for pickles there. That's great. This used to be the Pickle Street, so it's a bit of a nod to that. And there are a few shops left on my list. And then we are going to head to one of my favorite wine bars. It's right around the corner. This is all within like a three block radius down here, so you can really take it slow, which sounds very unlike Manhattan, but it's truly very relaxing right here. I like the wind chimes are right above me. Show 
Caseta is always so chill. I highly recommend. I always get the orange wine there and the small dishes are also delicious. The eggplant caponata pepped me right up because I was so hungry after walking around all day. And I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe and come back for more every Sunday. Thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!